What if I told you God is gay? Do you think belligerent Bible melters would still holler hate speech to the hilltops in his name? Do you think maybe they'd reread the scriptures they say they swear and survive? See, I've been reading the Bible again lately, and I think I've taken a leaf from my old holy book, picking passages from my purpose, which is short to show you it's very possible God just might be gay. I mean, think about the book of Genesis. In the beginning, there was nothing, but God created the heavens and the earth, and it wasn't just good, it was fabulous! <laughs> I mean, what is our planet and clinical exterior design? I don't mean to be generalizing, but it certainly seems like the Garden of Eden was designed by queer, I mean, divine eye for the straight guy. But see, some Christians would go as far as to call God's creations abominations, heretics call themselves faithful when their faith is full of the belief that only God may pass judgment. Matthew 7, 1. Judge, and you too shall be judged. Luke 6, 37. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Frank Bells, 2006. You're going to hell. God hates fags. A history lesson. A faggot is a bundle of sticks. A rich used as a for fires that engulfed days when they were burned at the stake. People were firewood. But Moses came across wood on fire and saw God in it. What is a burning bush? What is a burning bush? But bundles of branches on fire. Isn't it funny how faggots and God can look the same sometimes? Keep in mind, Jesus had two dads and turned out just fine. In fact, Jesus had two dads and a surrogate mother who never had sex with either of them, maybe Mary was a lesbian. I remember that prayer going, Hey Mary, come on, Chris. Not full of sin, pray for us sinners because we have become blinded by bigotry and forgotten that God gave us the rainbow as a promise that we would never be flooded again. I have been praying with ignorance, and now all the homosexual, homo sapiens stand more united under God's rainbow than all his denominations do around the cross. I was brought up to that my Savior loved us all and never had to specify no homo, but if you have hate in your heart, say it. Don't pray it. Don't teach it. And for the love of God, don't preach it because I'm tired of these fire and brimstone sermons, slicking slurs when not fire and brimstones from voices that should be filled with love and praise instead of raised with hate and rage. I am a Christian. And I believe in saying the Christian thing, which used to sound a lot more like love my neighbor as thyself. But nowadays, it sounds a lot more like hate at the top of your picket sign. The closest thing to God being hell is waiting for you. They're passing out damnation pamphlets filled with out of context Bible verses trying to define God when his kingdom is clear. He is acceptance. He is pride, he is humility, he is just, God is perfection, God is protection, God is love, but most importantly, God is gay. Wow.